30. A deadly accident involving a scooter yesterday in Dunedin is another example of the hazards of riding the inexpensive gas-saving two-wheelers on Bay Area roads. Brad Davis looks at what riders can do to stay safe. Safety is the last thing that's on their mind. Doug Vitello owns Sunset Scooters in Clearwater. He's seen firsthand the increase in scooters on our roads. Every type of person is driving a scooter now. When you combine a weakened economy with rising gas prices over the past several years, scooters and their relatively low price have become a popular alternative form of transportation. But riding a scooter can be dangerous. I just get out of the pool. I'm in my, uh, my bathing suit. I can just jump on my scooter and, 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 and go to the corner store. It's, it's, it's not about that. It, it should be about safety. Dale Glansman accepts his risk riding a scooter without a helmet, but too often he sees riders that appear to not have any regard for their own safety. Riding without a shirt, riding barefooted, you know, always have good footwear on, um, you know, and, and be very, very careful. According to a Pinellas County Sheriff's Office report, a 57-year-old Dunedin man was cutting between lanes of traffic on his scooter before cutting in front of other cars to make a right turn Sunday afternoon. The man died when he drove into the path of another car. Still, it's up to each individual rider how they approach their own safety. I think there's the potential for people to uh, think more uh, recreative, you know, when they deal, when they ride these scooters. Keeping safety as the most important aspect of scooter riding could save your life, but some riders simply want a fun mode of transportation, not thinking of the consequences. Their legs are all chewed up and scratched up they're riding their scooters you know in flip-flaps and shorts and what have you and they're they, you know they go down and then and, and they're a mess in pinellas county brad davis abc action news